Good morning everybody and welcome to a very special vlog slash video setup here. We're coming to you from the seafarers in Cayman Brack and we're going to be doing a beach cleanup today and tomorrow from Eagle Ray Beach. We are out on location at Eagle Ray Beach. We've got a lot of people volunteering. They're signing up over there and they're getting their free t-shirt, meeting everybody, a little bit of a meet and greet. It's not just about an ocean cleanup. It's meeting like-minded people and it's creating this beautiful beach for the rest of us to enjoy. It's a really good cause. This is the problem. So you go to pick up the plastic, it just goes brittle. The sun causes the plastic to degrade and then it breaks up into these tiny pieces. These look like sand grains, but it's just plastic as well. So if you see some plastic, please just pick it up. You're right. Beach. And imagine how quick that would go if there was everybody was helping, right? Instead of just us. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Okay. Plastic fact. One million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals are killed annually from plastic in our oceans. Sorry? Taking the little plastic dog for a walk. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Two point two. Got it. So we're here today to pick up some trash on the beaches of Cayman Brack. Recently, I have seen a lot more plastic here on the Brack compared to over the past few years, and I really am starting to see it as an issue with turtle nesting. Recently, we have seen a lot of this trash being incorporated in the booby bird nests. As far as the turtles go, I've had to relocate nests due to plastics blocking their exit point. They can't make it through all of the dense plastic on top of the sand and that causes issues for them when they're trying to get into the water. They get stuck in it, it makes it easier for predators to get them and our turtle populations, if this keeps happening, can decrease drastically. One thing you could do to help is come out and do beach cleanups like this. Really making the effort to come out and help with the pre-existing problem. I feel it. that's something really good you could do for the community. If you guys have to guess, how much garbage do you think that we collected today? Over a million. Over a million. Over, over, over a thousand. We've been out here on the beach for two hours. We've collected over 700 pounds of plastic and garbage and we put it in this dumpster here. Unbelievable work by the community. It is just inspirational to be out here with these guys. Our beach cleans are kindly sponsored by Red Sail Sports. They give us a gift certificate for a trip for two. I had to go out and see the stingrays and we're about to go tell Jim that he's won this month. So Jim has actually flown out here from Grand Cayman specifically for the beach cleanup and he's been here both days. So he's been committed to the cause from the very beginning. Jim, how are you doing? I'm okay. I have some great news for you. Yes. <laughs> We'd like to present you with this oh. certificate from Red Sail. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, it is a trip for two with Red Sail Sports complimentary. Okay. And we'd like to thank you so much for coming out and helping Plastic Free Cayman and helping the Cayman Islands My remove pleasure. some of their plastic. So there you go. Thank you for the opportunity. You are very welcome. Thank you for this. You're welcome. <laughs> Huge thank you to all those in Cayman Brack who came out to help us clean the beaches here. We cleaned along the turtle nesting beaches and where the booby birds all nest as well. And we made such a difference. But there's still a major problem. We have so much plastic pollution and we all play our part. There's so many things you can do and they're so simple. If you could just start by carrying a reusable water bottle, a reusable bag, and even make some of the changes in the bathroom, such as a bamboo toothbrush and a shampoo bar. Yes, it's a bar of shampoo and it cuts out the plastic bottle. These are changes we can all make to make a huge difference. This challenge of plastic pollution is a huge one, but after working with students and kids on this island and in Grand Cayman, I know that they are certainly up to the challenge. So let's help them face this challenge. Really eye-opening trip for me because I didn't know that the situation is this bad. 
there. A huge thank you for everyone who came. It's proven that it's such a community thing. It brings the whole community together. It's a chance to meet new people. It's a great experience for, for uh, people living here. Thank you for everyone who came yesterday and today. And yes, I'm very, uh, very positive that every single person can make a difference and uh, work together. If we, if we work on this together, we can make a huge, a huge difference. Being here the last couple of days has really been eye-opening. It's been an incredible experience. We've seen just how massive this problem actually is. But that being said, seeing the volunteers coming out, the people that have been dedicated to help the cause and actually get out and do something about it, has really been inspirational. The Cayman Islands is not hidden from plastic pollution's dilemma. It's very much hitting us hard, especially here in Cayman Brac. And it was just a massive eye-opener to see waves carrying plastic in Grand Cayman. We don't see that, so we're blessed in Grand Cayman. However, we cannot forget about Cayman Brac and Little Cayman as they make up the Cayman Islands. We have plastic-free Cayman and we're fighting for all the islands.